And you can't beat this! Look at it! He just locked! Folly! Lay down! Woo! Okay, we are ready to go. I've literally just faffed around for two hours. I've got a van full of random bits of kit. It's windy. I have my fellow friend here to film. Um, what are we doing today? Well, I'll tell you what we're doing. I have just signed up for the Deffy Wind. Yes, I have. So make sure the Deffy Wind this year. I don't know what kit I'm going to use. I'm not in shape at all at all i don't know if my legs are going to handle it i've just got back from cape town i've been wave sailing all winter and i just know i'm gonna get the gps on i'm just going for a blast have i got my deffy wind gear no i have not i've literally just pulled out an old slalom board it's a 116 liter still a good board I'm super happy with that but just to get a feel of a faster board there is a bit of wind i've got a 6.0 oh, yeah i know a 6.0 oh, um no cam so easy rigging i've just whacked it together and i'm just gonna go for a blast i'm gonna take the microphone i've got the waterproof mic i'm just gonna talk you through some feelings and we're just gonna see how it feels am i rigging it correctly am i in shape how much are my legs burning do i need to use the old special Liberty, Liberty harness. We've got about a month, maybe less than a month, until the Deffy wind. So am I gonna be ready? Of course not, <laughs> but that's not the fun. The fun is grabbing some gear, turning up to the Deffy, doing the race, trying to beat your mates, um, whatever gear they're on, that's the idea. So come and join me for a blast. We're at Martignal Beach, Sagres, taking the 360 camera we might have ever a drone for you you lucky people and i'm gonna talk you through it right let me lock the van up and let's go as you can see i've had a few problems with the van doors the van isn't ready i know what you're thinking ben didn't you do that van video three years ago where you're gonna have the mega van yes i did and did i do it no i don't care what you say you can hate me all you want it's a busy busy world <laughs> we've had other things right um, let's get it on so, like I said, Martignal Beach, uh, Sagres, offshore winds, very flat on the inside, gusty, uh, and there's a fair bit of wind. I think there's some good gusts coming through. This is the kit up I've got. So, um, 37, gas oil, full carbon fin. So it's a proper, you know, slalom setup. Yes, the board's a few years old, but I think some of these older slalom boards are still in the game you know i don't think much has changed in the slalom boards maybe you know different years they make them a bit faster one turns better one in planes early but you're just changing the parameters around i think as a base uh it's a decent decent board so that's set up i haven't used this for a few years uh, 116 liters it's 71 and a half wide 231 if that means anything to you guys should it go with a six meter no cam sail probably not <laughs> Probably not. Now, this is like the no cam uh, simmer style sail. So it's like the, the street racer, the blaster. You know, you, it is the fast no cam sail. So the benefit of it, easy to rig up, no cams involved, easy to water start. Um, and it's got a top end, you know, it's got a good top end. Now I used a smaller version of this, uh, thanks to borrowing one from uh, a fellow simmer rider at the Deffy last time. I think I used a 5.4 and even a 4.8 maybe, I have to check, or 6.0, but I used a couple of the, the VMAX, and it's nice, you can put your wave boom on it, so it's got a skinny boom, which for me feels so nice having a skinny boom. Um, it's got a skinny mast, 4.30 mast, so let you know, just plonk the down on, I put quite a lot of down on today, I hope that's gonna be right, it's been a while since I've been into it. So, I'm gonna put the camera on, I'm gonna go for a spin, so let's see, let's see, I've got the GPS, watch as well i haven't turned it on yet but we'll 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 whack that on and we'll see how quick we can go obviously not gonna let me just tighten this up it makes a hell of a noise okay so gps watch let's have a look still rocking this coro's watch which has served me really good although the one button has got a bit sticky now and the strap has actually uh, broke. I might do a review on this because I've had it a year and a bit and it's been very good. Haven't used it for a bit. I've got to pull this 
little toggle out now, which I'd never used to, I used to bounce. But have I looked after it? Have I washed it? No. Speed surfing. Shall we do that? Or the windsurfing? There we go. Speed surfing, we'll go with that. Start. Acquiring GPS signal. Reading my heart rate. 67 beats per minute. Is that, am I stressed? Maybe. <laughs> I don't, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued to see what speeds we get up to. I'm going to hire the boom a bit because obviously we're going slalom sailing now. We're not um, not going wave sailing, so we do need a bit of uh, leverage. There we go. Start now. Yes. Okay. We're off. Let's see what speeds we can do. Let's see. Okay. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had this gear out, so I might have to do some adjusting. I'll have to wait and see. It's going to be quite... Oh, that was a bit of shore break. I, I mean, you're probably laughing at me if you are used to dealing with shore break, because that's obviously not very big, but there is a bit. Whoa. Oh, so I'll tell you what, with a wave boom, I have got 32 lines. So... It's uh, they're quite long. There's a bit of wind, you know. Obviously, this inside bit, we're not going to be cruising straight away. But if I turn around now, there is a bit of swell as well. I'm going to turn around here, and we're going to head down the speed strip. So if you've ever been to Martignal, you'll know this section next to the beach now, when the wind's the right direction, you can get a bit of a run on. But actually, today, do not feel... Well, wow. we're going to be coming in at a different angle. It's slightly a different angle to usual. But uh, my Harley sides are way too far forward. I'll tell you that from the get-go. They're way too far forward. And the boom hasn't got enough out all on it. And it's high tide. But here we go. Oh, it feels good though. It does feel good. Blasted on a slalom board. A while. Why? Why has it been so long? Wow! I tell you, the acceleration straight out of the way. Oh man! I tell you, if you haven't been on a slalom board for a bit, have a go. Especially with a good fin. Oh man! It's so balanced. You forget. You really do forget. Oh yeah, gusty, but. Still, I need to move the harness signs back. We usually get some big gusts down here, but actually it feels pretty smooth. You know, 6.0 on a relatively wide board, but not such a bad board for here in Martignal because it obviously goes through the holes. And you can see there's some big holes way here. Like I said, I've gone for the the waist harness today, just because I'm so used to wearing it, and I have got it, um, I'm riding it very low, but I'm going to give that, uh, oh, no wind here, I'm going to give that Liberty harness, let me just move my harness lines back a little bit here, not quite balanced, like I said, they're my wave sailing harness lines, but that feels nice, that actually feels it's so good, man, windsurfing. I've just been watching the Chile event and you know, wave sailing is, is, is one of my passions, probably my biggest windsurfing passion. But I tell you what, just getting out there, doing that run, having that board just sitting right on the balance point with the, you know, the fin lifting and you're sitting kind of slightly on the rail. Wow, it's so comfy. I mean, I feel like, I haven't done it for so long. It almost feels like a new sport again, which I love to do. If you've got the, well, if you've got the money and you've got the space, um, I definitely recommend trying to hoard some different uh, gear from different disciplines. So, you know, having a, a slalom setup, but you don't need to have, wow, yes, you don't need to have the full slalom you know, cambered sails and all that sort of jazz to have fun blasting around and feeling it. I will say one of the most important things 
is getting the fin and the board balanced. Wow, you know I mean? Like that just feels so comfortable. I'm just like balanced right on it. You know, it's not a tiny board and it just feels freaking great. I have to say, this feels good. I mean, I'm on my own here having a blast with a fellow, you know, ripper blasted along. <laughs> yeah! I don't even know how quick we're going now. Probably not very quick, but where he just... <laughs> Woo! Oh, I even... Wow, we're going over the back of chop here. We're going over 30, 32, 33 or something. I mean, I've just jived into a, a big hole, so not the cleverest of manoeuvres, but yeah. I mean, I did speak to Simmer the other day and we're like, Ben, you know, do you want to go and take a bit of a, some of the gear out you've got in the garage, have a blast, you know, tell the audience. And it's very true. Sometimes, oh, this is sick. You know, because obviously if you've been following the channel, uh, big plug coming up, full, full disclaimer, this is a full advert, but they've got clearance stuff, you know, on the website. And I'm using that VMAX, it's in there at discounted prices. I'm gonna pay the bills, people, but I would honestly, I think it's a, it is a top sale. It's whenever we do the photo shoot, it's usually my go-to because, like I said, easy to rig so you get on the water quick, easy to water start, but the top end is there. You know, easy to rotate, no cameras. I feel super comfortable. I actually put two, CX, two centimeters extra downhaul on than the recommended. Didn't pull it all the way to the bottom, but pretty much, and it feels actually very comfortable. I let a bit of pressure off on the button above the boom, just to give it some release, and it feels very nice. We let it dry before we go into that hole. But you can see, you know what I mean? It even sounds like a cambered sail. I just jived out of a hole there. So, 32 knots, what's on? Yeah, so 32 knots. You know, on a 6-0, gusty wind, and the slalom board, pretty, you know, pretty an easy 32. I wasn't really hamming it. We did have that little gust, I guess. But I'll try and jibe in the, in the gust next time to, just to give you a bit of an idea because I was kind of just sailed around with my eyes shut then, sailed straight out of it. Martignal is obviously gusty. If you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know, you know, there is a few big gusts come through the course area because of the hotel. Like most windsurfing venues, they have a hotel right in the way, don't they? But as you get out of the lee of the hotel, it really does open up. And especially as you get, you know, closer to the island, there is a lot more cleaner wind. Obviously gets a bit more choppy out here. Uh, it's not as good as the sort of speed trip right next to the beach and we'll go up there towards the end and I'll give it a run, see if we can break 32. Well, get into the 30, deep into the 32s. Oh, we've got a gust here. Let's give it a go. Get that arse out. Like I said, big-ish board for the 6.0, I feel, but it doesn't feel it on the water. I thought it might be a bit overboarded, but actually, feels pretty fucking good. Woo! Yeah, man. Yeah, get your slalom boards out, boys. Or get on, uh, you know, eBay down your local shop, second-hand market. There are some bloody good deals around. You know, a lot of people talking about fear boiling these days. Don't underestimate. If you live in a, a windiest place, how good some of these sort of uh, a few-year-old slalom boards are. They definitely can still do a hell of a job. You've only got to look back at, you know, some of the racing in the, uh, you know, mid 2000, 2010s, which is like 14 years ago. The boards are still good from then. So if you just go back five years, you're getting some mega deals right now. 
don't get me wrong, if you've got a bit of caster splash, the new boards look pretty tasty. You know, if you're talking about graphics and all that stuff, but... Why? Whoa! Yeah, this, this is actually a very balanced setup. 71 wide with the 37 fin feels very comfortable. I know this combo works because it was the same combo I was using when I very first came to Sagros and I had the kind of full slalom setup. And uh, I literally just shoved it in the board this morning and uh, it's almost like I've never been away. So I mean, as soon as you drive in a gust, if you use your head a bit, there's no problem. But that's what Martin Yal, you know, the beach here in Sagres makes you do. You can't sail around like a headless chicken. You've got to use your noggin and you've got to pump a little bit. Oh, big hole. Like I said, this is kind of winter, northerly wind in Sagres. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in the summer, no clouds in the sky, way less gusts. You know, when it comes in, it comes in pretty consistent, apart from obviously behind the hotel. But in terms of the normal sailing, super windy, it just accelerates. But in the winter, we get a fair few gusts. Hey, mate, the old wing -a ding dingers We've got a few actually, I'm sure you have wherever you are at home. We can't have a wing dinger take us down, can we? We'll soon, uh, we'll let him have a little bit of a run. I'm just trying to keep the pressure on the fin here. Like I say, when I use the, the waist harness, when it's low like this and it hasn't slipped up, it feels super comfortable. That's the difference between, you know, beginning to wing and getting back on the slalom kit. Slalom kit's still pretty nippy. But this is the windiest part of Martin out here, right in the sort of funnel bit. This is where you get the proper, the proper breeze. I'm a bit out of practice with the jives. Like I say, I've been on the wave board quite a bit. But am I ready for the jetty? <laughs> Certainly not. I think, uh, I mean, I would say totally not. I'm just cruising here, not racing. I'm pretty sort of, you know, not overpowered gear. I can already feel it. I can already feel a little bit of pressure because you've got to bear in mind, this is a slalom board, you know. If you want an easier ride, it might be better to go for something like the, um, well, what's the, I'm trying to think, well, the exact, I know the monster, what, the free race, that's it, the free race, that's the sort of uh, genre of the sort of detuned slalom board. So it's a little bit more comfortable to be blasting. You know, you're obviously going to sacrifice a bit of speed, but and there's a big but. You know, in my eyes, just uh, being comfortable, especially over long distances. You know, that can be the case. So although I'm on a slalom board here, it's what I've got in the garage. If I had the monster, which is the free race, you know, equivalent in similar style, that might be a better board, you know, for average blasting around and maybe spending a few hours on the water. You know, slalom boards are meant for slalom races. And you've got to remember slalom races are only like four minutes long, three minutes long, you know, or whatever they were. Um, so yeah, that's worth bearing in mind having a look at the options um, and not getting so, uh, you know, pigeonhole with what you want. Go and have a look at the second-hand market. Go and have a look at the clearance market. Have a look what's out there. The summer is coming up. You know, don't get too crazy on the foils. I know everyone's talking, foil, foil this, foil, foil this. But I tell you now, and I know it just from me, the feeling for me on the fin is unmatchable. Do I like the foil? Yes, yes I do. But does it replace the fin? For me, no. Like, you know, I am a bit spoiled. I do have more gear. There are big advantages with a foil, especially in certain locations. But in terms of feel, that connection with the water, 
it don't get old this fin sailing you know it's nice to have a break every now and again do some wave sailing do some foiling we're just getting back on it today here we go right let's go and run got a gust here Woo! look at that you can't beat this look at it he just rocked Polly, lay down Whoa! You know what I mean? Like that! You're not doing that in the foil. You're doing something, but it's not that. All right, that's it. This is my Deffy Wind training. I know, we just started. It's like going to the gym. You don't go in there and start bench pressing 400 or whatever. You've got to build up slowly. So, that's my build up. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in. 